Come on, I am praying that if you are someone who's watching this as a rerun, that the power of God will begin to hit you as if you are live. Come on in, everyone. I'm going to wait for Facebook to come in and build me an audience. Come on. There is nothing, people of God, that is too hard for God. Come on. No weapon formed. Rabakosaya. Against Lord God. Rabakosaya. Our God, watch this, uh, could ever prosper. So God got us. Uh, if you can come on in, people of God, and begin to tag and share. Come on. There is nothing too hard for God. Come on. I don't know what you're believing. God for. So people of God, if you can come in, come on and begin to tag and share. The quicker you begin to come in and tag and share, the quicker God can be able to have his way on tonight. Let me start inviting some people to this live. We come against every satanic force that the enemy may have set. Lately, people of God, I've been going live a little bit later um, because the God, God was, you know, dealing with my spirit, telling me the people of God are having trouble sleeping. So lately I've been doing this midnight or every night. And when I tell you the blessings, the testimonies, I think tomorrow I'm going to post some testimonies. The testimonies are behind uh, the way the people of God is saying the prayer kits are helping them. The word of God late at night is helping them. And because of that, people of God, the enemy is upset because the enemy, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, is defeated. So come on in, people of God. There's definitely a message on tonight. The quicker you begin to come in and tag and share, the quicker God can begin to have his way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, may the Lord begin to bless everybody who is watching this live right now. Come on, people of God. There's a sound that is taking place. Come on in, people of God. There's a sound that is taking place. Glory to God. <coughs> Excuse me. Hallelujah. Could I get you to come in tagging and sharing, everybody? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I'm going to sit the phone down for a second, and I'm going to use my other phone. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, to begin to build an audience. Give me a second. Come on in, people of God. Come on. Come on. There's a sound that's taking place. Welcome to Midnight Oil. Rabakosaya. Come on. If you are watching, Rabakosaya, and you have not tapped, Rabakosaya. Oh, God, I feel God. Anybody to this live, come on. You're not on one accord with us, people of God. I need you to get on one accord. Something has to break uh, on tonight. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. God, we bless uh, the name of the magnificent one. Uh, do I have some people? Oh, I feel God. Uh, on here, on tonight, people of God, uh, Rabbi Kosaya, that don't mind saying, uh, for God I live and for God I die. Uh, do I got some people on here uh, that don't mind saying, uh, I'm going through a lot, uh, but yet and still I trust uh, do I got some people on here huh, who are watching on tonight, people of God, and excuse me if I'm looking down. I'm inviting some people to this live also. Huh. Do I got some people on here on tonight huh, that don't mind saying people of God, huh, I'm not perfect, but I'm willing. Huh. Let me tell you what I am learning, people of God. That in the midst of your struggles, in the midst of your attacks, as long as I can sign your people of God, that you are willing, listen, willing to keep fighting, willing to keep trusting God, willing to keep getting up every day and showing up, willing to not give up, willing to not give in. Come on, I don't know who this is for. People of God, as long as you are willing, the enemy can do nothing with you. Come on in, people of God. Tonight, I'm going to need you to tag some people you love, some people you care about. Some people that you want to motivate on tonight. People of God, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a pressing that's taking place. Come on, we're going to build a sound on tonight. That is so serious. We're going to build a sound on tonight, people of God. That is going to have the enemy, mighty God. 
Come on, who is this for? Uh, gonna have the enemy upset. Uh, come on, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. I'm talking to some people on tonight, people of God. That That don't mind saying, I'm going to wait on the Lord. Uh, I'm talking to some people, people of God. That don't mind saying, come on. I said everybody should be dropping in the comment section. At everyone, at followers, at highlights. Glory to God. Just give me a second. Come on, we're about there. We're about there. And I'm going to get ready to start TikTok. I pray tonight, people of God, that the music is... I pray tonight, people of God, that the music is ministering to your soul on tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If you needed this on tonight, I just want you to drop in the comment section. I needed this. Come on in, people of God. Come on, I'm getting ready to start TikTok. Because I feel God already. Come Come on in, people of God. Come on, there is something that, that is taking place on tonight. Uh, and the enemy is upset uh, because the enemy is defeated. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Just give me a few more minutes. Uh, come on, there's a sound that is taking place. Uh, people of God, I need you to press. Uh, tonight, watch this. Uh, with the pressing, with the pressing, you're going to go a little higher. Uh, come on, I don't know about you, uh, but tonight I want to go a little higher. Uh, I'm talking to some people huh, who were just scrolling because they couldn't get any sleep. Huh. I'm talking to some people on tonight huh, who end up tapping in huh, and tapping on this live huh, because they're overwhelmed huh, with what they got going on. Huh. Come on, everybody on TikTok. Come on, I need y'all to share this live quickly and begin to drop in the comment section huh, the at sign and the word everyone. Huh. People of God, let me tell you. Sometimes I'm afraid of the prophetic And I'm going to tell you why Because I'm talking to some people who watch this There's an anointing and a gift on your life And you don't understand what it is yet For some reason Every time something is about to happen You speak it and it happens the exact way you say it And you be like, I knew that was going to happen Not even knowing that You got the gift of prophecy On your life Let me tell you something Something, people of God. Sometimes, even though you can't recognize what God has called you to do, hear me and hear me well. The enemy knows the areas you have gift are gifted in, even though you can't tap in. Come on, man! Everybody, share this live. I feel God. Come on, we're gonna go up tonight. The devil is about to be upset because the enemy is defeated. When I tell you this message gonna bless you on tonight, come on, just two more minutes. We about there, everybody on Facebook. Just give me two more minutes. Come on, share this live. All I want to see over the screen on TikTok is nothing but the blue share buttons. The Bible says where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. There is somebody watching this live right now. Your heart is so broken. Mighty God, come on, you cannot sleep. Your heart is so troubled. Come on, that you cannot even get any rest. There is somebody that is watching this live right now. You're dreading to literally wake up tomorrow because of what tomorrow will bring. There are some of you that are watching right now. You're literally saying to yourself, I feel like I don't want to go on. I feel like I don't want to live. I feel, my God, like nobody loves me. Like if I left this world, nobody would even care. I am telling you, you're in the right place at the right time on tonight. This message, people of God, oh God, I feel, I feel the breaker on. People of God, let me tell you something. Before I even begin to start, I come against every spirit, every tormenting witch that may come to you at night when you just won't sleep. I'm talking to some people. They try to take everything just to get a little bit of rest. Melatonin ain't working. Who am I speaking to? Night quill don't work. Tylenol PM ain't working. 
Nothing that you try to do won't get you any sleep because there has been a spirit released to torment you in the middle of the night because the enemy knows that if you do not get any rest, you will begin to hallucinate. If you do not get any rest, you can't be the best version of yourself. So before I get started with the message, I come against every witch, every warlock, Every tormenting spirit that might begin to try to come at you and attack you from going to sleep at night. If this message is for you, could you just put in the comment section? I have a hard time sleeping. Sometimes people have gone the cares of the world. Hear me and hear me well. Would do everything. But build you up. I'm talking to some people on tonight. Your mind run 24-7. Not running 24-7. For good reasons. Running 24-7. Reminding you how far behind you are in your bills. Running 24-7. Reminding you how they did you wrong. Running 24-7. Reminding of you all the things your children need. I'm talking about some people, people of God, where all you think about, it's what's literally tearing you down. I dare you to put in this message in the comment section. This message is for me. And as God began to talk to me on tonight, in Jesus' name, amen. I forgot to end that little prayer in uh, Jesus' name. Watch this, people of God. Listen, I, I don't know who's heavy burden on tonight. And the reason I don't know who's specifically heavy burden on tonight, people of God, is because, my God, there are so many of you that are faking it just to make it. Somebody drop in the comment section. I won't fake it to make it anymore. There are so many of you, people of God, who watch this just naturally. When people ask you, are you okay? Your response is always, I'm good. I'm talking to you, Tanya Parker. I'm talking to you. Shay Redding. I'm talking to Rebecca Kosaya. I'm talking to some people that I love on tonight. Every time somebody can say to you, Are you good? Your response is always naturally that I'm good. I'm talking to you on tonight. People of God, somebody ought to be honest enough and put in the comment section. Sometimes I'm just not good. Rebecca Kosaya. And I know that. Sometimes uh, the weight of the world gets so heavy. Uh, I know uh, that sometimes uh, life really be like it. Uh, I know uh, that sometimes uh, your mind is thinking, uh, how much longer? Uh, but watch this. God is saying on tonight, it's your fault. Uh, oh, I promise you. Uh, if you allow me to break this thing down, you'll be able to get sleep tonight. Waking up with another mindset, you'll be able to get sleep tonight. Waking up realizing that you are more than a conqueror and you are more than enough. Watch this, people of God. I begin to say, God, you literally want me to come on here and expose all of the people of God who are watching and call out the spirit that they're dealing with. And he said, yes, daughter, because if we don't address the issue, my God, I cannot be the issuer. Could I have somebody put in the comment section? I got issues. And if you are just now tuning in tonight, people of God, tonight's message is if you gave it to God, why do you keep taking it? Oh, Jesus, I'm trying not to scream. Why do you keep taking it back? Somebody put it in the comment section. I keep taking it back. I keep taking it back. I said, 
spoke what I said. If you are watching tonight, the Holy Spirit is literally saying the reason you are going through what you're going through is because every time you give it to God, you take it right back. See, that's going to be hard for the people who are watching who don't believe in God. You're saying to yourself, how? How do they trust somebody they cannot see? But when you have been through a lot in your life, when the people you can see don't do nothing for you, Jesus Christ. When the people you can physically pick up the phone and call huh, don't show up for you. Huh? When the people Ramakon huh, that you consider huh, Ramakon huh, close to you huh, don't show up the way you need them to. Huh? You have no choice huh, but to believe in something you cannot see. Huh? I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight, huh? but God is saying to tell you huh, that it is your fault. I dare somebody to drop in the comment section. It's my fault. Uh, what I'm going through right now, it's literally, uh, it's literally my fault. Uh, and watch this, people of God. Uh, if you are just now tuning in, uh, tonight's message uh, is if you really gave it to God, uh, then why do you keep taking it back? Uh, and as for uh, people of God, as God begin to tell me uh, on tonight uh, that this was the message, uh, I begin to immediately say, God forgive me Do I got some people bold enough That don't mind letting people know That they believe in God Even if it's just a little bit I need you to drop in the comment section God forgive me Because if we're needing God to do something on tonight We gotta expose ourselves If we're needing God to do something on tonight You can sit on here and look crazy if you want to Looking at my big earrings Or my long ghetto fingernails But when I tell you Hear me and hear me well. Huh? Don't judge the messenger, huh? but catch the message huh? so you don't miss the mark God is saying. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. What are you saying, Dr. Shakira McFadden? Huh? Tonight I'm talking to you, Trinette. Huh? God is saying, stop being huh? an Indian giver. Huh? Somebody drop that in the comment section. Huh? I'm an Indian giver. Huh? There are some of you that are watching. Huh? And you're saying, Dr. Shakira McFadden. Huh? I don't huh? I don't receive that. Huh? I'm not an Indian giver. Huh? So let me, huh? let me begin to say this. Huh? Watch this people of God. Let me expose you. Because sometimes we don't realize that we're liars. Because we think a liar is just somebody who don't tell the truth. But no people of God. When you take a minute and look at the man in the mirror. Come on with the prophet Michael Jackson said. When you take a minute people of God. And begin to look at yourself. Who am I speaking to? On tonight people of God. When you begin to take a moment mighty God and you begin to say to yourself oh yeah I do lie a little bit somebody drop that in the comment section I lie a little bit what are you saying Dr. Shakira McFadden every time somebody asks you if you're okay you say I'm fine Everybody, every time somebody asks you how you doing you say I'm blessed and highly favored every time somebody asks you do you need everything anything your response is I got it you big old liar I said what I said. Sometimes you're afraid to tell people. I'm at a place where I want to give up. Sometimes we're afraid to tell people. I'm at a place where I want to throw in the towel. I said what I said. See, we'll call people out for being liars. But we don't look at the little lies we tell through the day. And I get it. Sometimes you got a lot of people. Especially if you think they're praying on your downfall. I get it. But what about the people? Who you consider friends? What about the people who you consider your significant other? What about the people who you consider close? Why do you lie to them? Can I ask you even a bigger question? Why do you lie to yourself? Somebody put in the comment section, I lie to myself sometimes. See, the crazy part about it, people of God, there are some of you that are watching this video, and you are saying to yourself, how did I even get on this live? How is this lady discussing what I got going on? And God is saying, because I got to bring you confirmation. God is saying, because I got to let you know that I am listening. Somebody put in the comment section that this is my confirmation. 
Tonight's message is if you gave it to God, why do you keep taking it back? And God is saying, people of God, that really you're a liar and you're an Indian giver. And I know some of y'all are like, I can't believe that this lady is calling me a liar. I said what I said. There are days that you are not okay. Yet and still you're programmed to get up and automatically say everything going to be all right. There are days, people of God, that it's hard even being a parent. Yet you're programmed to get up and say, mommy or daddy got this. Oh God, I feel God. There are times, people of God, where you're tired of being married. Or you're just tired of being in a relationship. Can we get honest on tonight? Thank you for the gifts on TikTok. Somebody on, on, on here understand where I'm coming from. And there are times, people of God, where you begin to feel that way. But you get you still got to show up to the relationship. Acting like you're so in love. I'm talking to some people on tonight. And that got laid next to a person. That they were once in love with. And you laid next to them every night. Yet you still feel alone. Oh, God. I got some people un honest enough huh, to drop that in the comment section. Sometimes I feel alone. Huh? The definition, people of God, huh, of Indian giver. Huh? Indian giver is a person huh, who gives something to another huh, and then they take it back. Huh? I'm going to say it again huh? before I go in. Huh? I said a Indian giver, huh? people of God, huh? is a person huh? who gives something to another huh? and then they begin to take it back. Huh? I remember people of God huh? when I was in elementary school huh? and we would go out huh? on the PE field. Huh? We would go out huh? and get ready to play kickball huh? and I would get the kickball huh? and I would play kickball. God, I thank you for this illustration. Huh? And then after I would get tired huh? of playing kickball, huh? I would hold the ball to myself huh? and I would sit on it. Huh? I would bounce it around a little bit, huh? but eventually I got bored with it. Huh? And watch this people of God. Huh? I remember the other classmates huh, would come up to me huh, and they would say, Shakira, huh, can we hold the ball? And I would give them the ball. Huh, but watch this, Rabbi Kosaya. Huh, when I would stand over huh, on the side of the basketball court huh, by myself huh, and look over at them, huh, playing with the ball that I gave them. Huh, and they were having so much fun. Huh, watch what I would do. Huh, I would want it back. Huh, who am I speaking to? Huh, on today, huh, you are given God certain situations huh? and when it looked like God wasn't moving it quick enough. Huh? You wanted it back. Huh? Who am I talking to? Huh? Oh, tonight, huh? you have given God certain situations. Huh? And then when it begins to look like radical shot, huh? that God cannot hear your prayers, huh? you try to take it back and do it all by yourself. Huh? Who am I speaking to? On tonight, thank you, Holy Ghost. Watch this, people of God. Women are like oranges. I want somebody to put in the comment section, I'm an orange, I'm an orange. If you're a woman on tonight, I want you to put in the comment section, I'm a orange. If you are a man and you're watching, I want you to just drop in the comment section that women are like oranges. Watch this. I'm going to bless somebody with this word. Mighty God on tonight. Women are like oranges. And what do you mean by that, Dr. Shakira McFadden? They're soft on the inside and on the outside they sometimes have a tough outer exterior yet they are squishy watch this people of God have you ever took an orange and just squeezed it a little bit and you're like okay it's a little squishy but I know it's good on the inside women are like oranges you can beat on them you can slam them on the ground you can step on them they might get a little squishy but the rubber goes There's still some good. Somebody put in the comment section. I'm still good. Come on and drop that in the comment section. What are you saying, Dr. Shakira McFadden? There are some of you people of God. People are going to regret walking out of your life. There are some of you people of God. People are getting ready to regret how they did you. Oh, I'm talking about some of these people who you're in relationships with. Or some of these people who missed out on the best thing that could have ever 
what happened to them. God is saying on tonight, my daughter is like an orange. You done took an advantage of her. You done stepped on her. Some of you would ever go sorry. You've been beaten on. Then had black eyes. You done been approved. There are some of you that are watching. You have been taken advantage of and everything like that. But the thing about an orange people of God, one thing about a man, a man can be an Indian giver. Somebody ought to drop in the comment section. A man can be an Indian giver. I know you're still at a point where you like Dr. Shakira and fat and get to the point. Hold on, baby. I promise you I'm laying the foundation. Somebody about to be blessed like this. Men can be Indian givers. They will beat on you. They will step on you. They will do you wrong. Remember I said an Indian giver is a person who gives something to one another and then want to take it back. What are you saying, Dr. Shakir McFadden? Some of you that mean that walked out on you and you was the best thing that ever happened to him. Whatever goes on. What are you saying, Dr. Shakir McFadden? Some of you have been in relationships relationships with people and they wanted to go see if the grass was greener on the other side until you finally say I gotta go because there's no peace but what they don't realize is that they're about to be India givers what are you saying Dr. Shakira McFadden let me tell you about an orange you can beat on it you can step on it you can do it wrong it can be all beat up and watch what will happen with an orange God can send the next man alone and they'll pick up that beat up orange and make orange juice from it baby I'm still good and then you turn around and the same man that didn't appreciate you when they had the chance the same man somebody ought to put in the comment section the same man oh I should be seeing more comments than that I should be seeing more hearts than that come on you know that this live is for you some of you laying next to that Indian giver and watch this people of God when you finally move and you finally find somebody else, then they want to be an Indian giver. When they see you upgrading the next man's life, come on, there's some of you. When you got with that man, he never been to the doctor a day in his life, and you came and upgraded him. Now he's taking care of himself. When you got with that man, he never took vitamins a day in his life. Irrevocable shot. Now you upgraded that man. When you got with that man, he never been on a plane a day in his life. Never been nowhere. Never been out of town. There are some of you people of God. You're in love with mama's boys. And they ain't never been nowhere but to their mama house. And you came along and you upgraded them. But the same man that is side treated you any kind of way. God is saying the next person about to come along and make orange juice for you. Damaged and approved. Used and frustrated. Taken advantage of. Treated like nobody. God is saying I'm coming along and breakfast is about to be served somebody ought to put that in the comment section breakfast is about to be served you're about to be the best orange juice that the next oh Jesus Christ that the next person ever had come on I want to see in the comment section nothing but cup emojis I know my word My husband in the living room by, while I'm live, I tell him all the time. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't do it, baby. Don't, don't, you'll be sick. You, you, you'll be sick if the next man get what you got. And then they're going to be Indian givers. And when they see that you happy, and when they see that you done move on, now they want to call you and tell you sweet things. No, baby, you done gave me away. I always tell me. When I'm counseling them, because I counsel men, I counsel women, I do marriage counseling and things like that. I always tell me and this people of God, watch this. I always say this to them. Hear me and hear me well. If you not going to marry her, if you not going to take her serious, then let go of that man's wife. Hear me and hear me well. I say let go of that man's wife, meaning she ain't for you. Move out the way so her husband can come along. Child, I know what I'm talking about. And watch this, people of God. Women, we're like oranges, we're precious. But after you've been taken advantage of, this next person will come along and enjoy the orange juice. Hear me and hear me well, people of God. God is saying on tonight, if you are just now tuned in to 
tonight's message is if you gave it to God, why do you keep taking it back? Because women, we can be like Indian givers too. I said an Indian giver is a person who gives something to another and then they want it back. I'm talking to a bunch of you on tonight. How many times God is saying, have you given God something and yet you took it back? How many times have you cried out to the Lord and you said, Lord, this is something I cannot fix on my own, but yet it's still you try to work it out. How many times, people of God, have you said, God, I'm tired of going through this. I'm tired of rubber side of struggling. And then you, my God, you stick your nosy behind nosy and you try to figure it out. Do I got some honest people on here on tonight who don't mind putting in the comment section? I try to figure it out. Can you expose yourself for a second? I try to do it on my own. And God is saying, you Indian giver, you. I said, give me your problems. I said, give me your issues. I said, I got you. Why don't you believe me on tonight? You're crying. And you're saying to God, I give it to you. And then 45 minutes later, Rebecca Shai, you on the phone trying to fix it yourself. You're crying, saying, God, I give it to you. And then 30 minutes later, you're trying to pawn everything in your house just to get the money up. You're crying and saying, God, I give it to you. And then 20 minutes later, you buzzing out his window and flatten the tires on his cars. You're crying and saying, God, I give it to you. And then 20 seconds later, come on, you laying up with somebody else to try to cover up the pain of what the other person calls. How many times, people of God, you said, God, I gave it to you. But then you go try to see the voodoo doctor, mighty God, to try to let them handle it. I'm calling out them spirits on tonight. You Indian giver, God is saying, just give it to me and let it go. Somebody drop in the comment section. I'm going to let go and let God. Stressing yourself out. Frustrated about it. Breaking down about it. Wanting to give in about it. Doing everything but the right thing about it. Oh, you want to play? You want to act like you got it all together? Baby, you on the wrong live on tonight. Because on this live tonight, we are admitting that we are nosy. We are admitting that we say we love God. We say we trust Him. Yet we worry. And God is saying on tonight, you Indian giver, all you got to do is give it back. But you're being exposed tonight, the Lord is saying. He said to tell the people of God before I bless you, I, I got to expose you. I, and the reason I'm exposing you is not so people can talk about you, but I'm exposing you I, so you know the area you need to fix. I, I don't know who needs to Shaya. I felt that in my spirit. I, the Lord is saying, I, there are some of you that are going through situations I, and you feel like now everybody know your business. I, everybody know your situation. I, and God is saying, I got to expose you. I, so you know the area you need to fix. Uh, come on, I want to see those hearts over on TikTok. Uh, come on, I want to see nothing but the heart emojis, the heart comments, the heart buttons all over the screen. Uh, come on, people of God. Uh, I know what I'm talking about on tonight. Uh, this is the reason you are up. Uh, you're being tormented. Uh, you're going through things. Uh, the issue is allowing your body uh, not to rest. Uh, your mind is all over the place. Uh, I said uh, what I said uh, that God is saying on tonight. Uh, you Indian give or give it back. Say, ask them tonight, Dr. Shakir McFadden. He said, ask them, how can they give to everybody else but won't give to me? That was deep, man. I, when I was writing that, people of God, I almost shed a tear. God is saying, how? You big hearted person. How can you give to everybody else, but you won't give to me? How can you give your heart to to somebody else, but you won't let me deal with the person, my God, that broke it? How, how can you give your kids whatever they want? You show up for them as mommy and daddy of the year. How do you do it? But yet and still, 
worship. When they turn around and they're disrespectful, you won't give it to me. He said, whatever goes shy. When they turn around and they're, they're, they're having trouble in school, you won't give it to me. When they turn around and they're hanging with the wrong crowd, you won't give it to me. He said to tell you on tonight, how, 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 how do you give? You can give your tithes to a church. Whatever goes shy. You can give your time to a church. You can go on the job and give them all you got. But yet and still, you won't give it to me. He said, you're an Indian giver and you're a liar. Every time people ask you, are you okay? Your response is always, I am good, you liar. You go through it just like everybody else. Somebody ought to put in the comment section. Sometimes I tell little white lies. I'm talking to some people on tonight that say I'm tired of lying. Sometimes I'm just not okay. I'm tired of lying. Sometimes it's too heavy. I'm tired of lying. I'm talking to some people, people of God, on tonight. And God is saying, you Indian giver, just give it back. So when I begin to look up the definition of the word Indian, Indian giver, and it begins to say, an Indian giver is a person who gives something to somebody and they want it back. I immediately begin to say, God, forgive me. Because sometimes, God, I feel like you're just not working quick enough. Do I get some honest people on tonight that don't mind saying I'm exhausted with my issues? Do I got some people on tonight that don't mind saying I'm overwhelmed with my problems? Oh, God, do I got some people on tonight that don't mind saying I'm drowning in my tears? Oh, I heard that in the spiritual realm. If that was you, come on and just flood the comment section with tear emojis. You're saying, God, this situation got me drowning in my tears. I'm talking to some people. Father, I bless you. I bless you for where you brought me from. God, I praise you. I remember situations where I was drowning in my tears. Oh, God, I bless you. Come on, blessings, blessings to everybody who's putting up the tear emojis. But did I tell you something? That, that tears are really just silent prayers. If you begin to give it to God, could I tell you on tonight that your tears are just a representation to the devil? That you are still breathing. Oh! God, I think I'm going to preach that in the morning. Your tears, oh, I hear you, Holy Ghost. It's just a sign that you are still breathing. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm still alive. I may be hurt, but I'm still alive. I may be going through pain, but I'm still alive. I may be broke, but I'm still alive. I may be broken, but I'm still alive. I may be overwhelmed, but I'm still alive. But I'm a good son. I'm still alive. But watch this. God is saying you always take it back. And there are some of you that are saying, you're saying, God, I'm not going to stress anymore. But for some reason, I always take back the stress. There are some of you that are watching that. You're saying, God, I'm not going to cry no more. But for some reason, I keep taking it back. You're saying, God, I'm completely giving it to you. But yet and still, I find myself taking it back. And God is saying on tonight, you Indian giver, I love you so much. Why won't you just turn it over to me? And as God begins to tell me that that was the message on tonight, I begin to release my hands. Oh, could you just drop in the comment section the hand emojis? God, I'm releasing it. It's too much to carry. God, I'm releasing it. It's too much to bear. God, I'm releasing it. I can't do it by myself. God, I'm releasing it. I got to give it to you. There are some of you that are watching. You're literally embarrassed about where you are in life. You feel like at my age, I should be further along. And God is saying, all you got to do is give it to me. He's saying, all you got to do, Rebbe Koshaya, is give it to me. God is saying, watch this. All I want to know tonight is why. 
I want everybody to drop the question marks in the comment section. Listen, people of God, I can't be there to hold your hand and pray with you. But the Bible says where two or more are gathered in the midst. So the only way we can come in agreement with what you're needing God to do is if I say something that bless you, use your thumbs to prophesy. I need you to comment, 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 because it lets the enemy know that you're in agreement with this word. God is saying, I got a question for you, beloved. On tonight, I got a question for you, my son. On tonight, he said, all I want to know, I want to know why. Why won't you let me fix it? He said, you you don't got a problem asking your significant other why they're treating you the way they do. God is saying, I just want to know why. Why won't you trust that I got it? You don't, you don't have a problem saying to the kids, you know, you're hurting me. Where did you get this from? I didn't raise you like that. Why are you doing this? Who am I speaking to? There's some of you that are watching. God is saying, why don't you believe that I got it? But you believe that, that that messy friend is going to one day change their ways. You'll ask them why they backstab you and then you'll give them access to you again. God is saying, I just want to know why. Why won't you turn it over to me? Why won't you surrender it to me? Somebody ought to put in the comment section, tonight I'm letting go. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message, people of God, is if you gave it to God, why do you keep taking it back? You Indian giver, there are some of you that are watching that you are so strong, literally. Nobody can literally see the fact that you are an Indian giver. You wear your Indian giver spirit well. Hear me and give me well. You dress it up nice. You dress up the things you're going through. You do it nicely. But God is saying, people of God, you got to get to a place. When you begin to say, God, I'm stressing about the things I cannot change. You got to get to a place where you begin to say, God, I'm going through it about the things I cannot change. People of God, hear me and give me well on tonight. It's not by coincidence that you are here. You got to get to a place in the beginning of this life. I prayed against every tormenting spirit that is keeping you from sleeping. Problems, issues, I came against it in the beginning of the life. I'm going to ask you a question. This ain't God. When the last time have you gotten a good sleep? I'm not talking about by taking no melatonin, no Percocet, no. I'm not talking about by taking no pain medicine. I'm not talking about your blood pressure medicine knocking you out. I ain't talking about no Aleve, no NyQuil, no Tylenol, PM. When the last time, naturally, have you gotten good sleep? Jesus, come on. I see a bunch of people putting, I don't know, I can't remember. The last time was a year ago. Literally, it's been years. I'm reading the comments. It's because you won't let go and let God. God is saying on tonight, I'm literally not even charging you. He said, I'm not asking you for nothing but to hand over your problems. He said, I'm not charging you for your issues. I'm just saying, give it to me. He said, I'm not giving you a fee for your burdens. I'm just saying, turn it over. But you keep taking it back. Somebody say, Lord, you can have it. See, unless it's too, too heavy, you won't even understand where I'm coming from on tonight. Some of you it haven't got to a place where it's too, too heavy yet. When it's too, too heavy, you will tell a person you can have it. I used to say to my husband, listen, if somebody could take you from me, you wasn't never mind. If somebody can take something from you, you wasn't never mind. How are you constantly letting the enemy take your peace when the devil wasn't the one who gave it to you anyways? How are you constantly letting people take your happiness when the devil wasn't the one who gave it to you? If you could take it from me, baby, it wasn't never mind. So God is saying on tonight, people of God, you got to get to a place where you stop faking it to make it. He said, watch this. Every time you take it back from him, you make your own self sick. Every time you take it back from him, you watch this. Add another rock to the backpack that you're carrying. Every time you take it back from him, you drop the weight of the world on your shoulders. 
And he's saying all you got to do is release. Somebody put that in the comment section. I'm going to release. There are some of you that are watching. God is saying you're speaking in tongues. Yet you cannot surrender. There are some of you that are watching. And God is saying, watch this. He said to tell the women of God. Because it's you guys mostly. You show up in the church. And your prayer warriors. You can pray for everybody else's situation. But you're breaking down behind closed doors. He said to tell the man of God. You got to always be so strong. You got to always act like you got it all together. But yet you're breaking down behind closed doors. And God is saying to tell the women on tonight. I did not create you to be independent women. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because when God said that. Watch this. It messed me up. Because for a long time I was screaming. I'm an independent woman. I'm, I'm independent. I can do it all by myself. And God is saying on tonight. He said to tell the women of God. Who are so independent. I didn't create you. To be independent. He said I created you. To need me. There are some of you. You are so independent. I don't need a man. I don't need family. I don't need nobody. I got this. That when you go through what you go through, you got to break down behind closed doors without nobody knowing. And God is saying, I didn't create you to be this independent woman. I created you to need me. I created you to need me so I can help lift the weight. Let me tell you what I'm learning about independent women. People who are usually independent women, everybody depends on you. You independent, but everybody depending on you to help them with their bills. You're independent, but everybody depending on you. Watch this to give them good advice. You independent, Miss Independent Woman, but everybody depending on you to watch this to put them on. You independent, but everybody depending on your strength. I did not create you. To be an independent woman. This is why some of y'all relationships don't work. You too independent. You won't let them leave. I said what I said. You come from a whole bloodline. Of independent women. Grandma was independent. That's why she never got a man. Mama was independent. That's why she couldn't give a man. Auntie was independent. That's why she couldn't give a man. And now God has blessed you. With somebody. Who's not perfect. But he got potential. Oh, I hear the Holy Spirit well. And watch this. Because you this independent woman. You want to let it go. God is saying on tonight I break. That independent woman spirit. And there are some of you that say, Dr. Shakir me fattened. Because of how I was raised. Because of how I grew up. I had to be independent. Because nobody was there. But God is saying on tonight. I am here. I am here. God is saying on tonight. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. God is saying on tonight. Daughter, you can release it. You can trust me. Hand it over. I can see the way it's tearing you down. He's saying on tonight. My beloved son. Hear me and hear me well. Hand it over. I know I say that you are the head of your household. But sometimes the birds, they get a little tough. Hand it over. He said, trust me, I got it. You Indian giver. This time around, give it to me and don't. Whatever goes shy, you take it back. Somebody ought to put in the comment section. This time around, God is saying I can do it. This time around, if you hand it over and you don't take it back. At this very moment, people of God, God is saying, every time I'm about to show you how mighty I am, you stick your nose in it and try to fix it. There are some of you that are watching. God is saying, every time I'm about to show up and show out and answer that unanswered prayer, you stick your hands in it and try to do it all by yourself. There are some of you that are watching. God is saying every time I'm about to show up and give you your breakthrough, you break down before I can even rubber shot and step in. Oh, I said what I said on tonight. God is saying, just give it to me. He's saying, give it to me and don't take it back. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm going to let go and let God. I said what I said. 
You got to begin to pray against that nosy spirit. There are some of you that are watching. You say, I mind my business. I don't worry about what go on in other people's household. What God is saying, keep that same attitude with me. Mind your business. Don't worry about how I'm going to do it. Keep that same attitude with me. Somebody ought to put in the comment section. I'm going to keep that attitude with God. I don't know what's going on in my neighbor's house because I come home and I mind my business. I don't know what's happening in my sister's house because I come home and I mind my business. I don't know what's going on at the church because I come home and mind my business. I don't know what they're going through on my job. I go to work and I mind my business. God is saying, you want to mind your business with everybody else, but you want to keep sticking your nose in mind. Stop trying to figure out how I'm going to do it and keep that same attitude. Woo! Somebody had to put in the comment section this live. It's for me. God is saying on tonight. At some point, you got to get tired of praying for the same situation over and over and over again. And you're wondering, God, why haven't you done it yet? God is saying on tonight, if you give it to me, I'll break that over and over and over again. There are some of you, you've been praying for your significant other. And there's no change. Let me tell you something, people of God. When it came to my husband and his drug addiction, every time he go to jail, I would burn him out. When it came to my husband and his drug addiction, all I wanted to do was just honor my marriage vows for better or for worse through sickness and health. And when it came to my husband, every time he would go out in the streets, I would go out and look for him. And I would want to rescue him. And every time he would get at his lowest, I would always have his back. And God began to say to me, you're praying for me to fix him, but you keep sticking your nose in my business. God is saying he's made you his God. He knows that any situation you get in, you will always get him out of it. So how can I allow him to go through it enough to break him down to his knees so he turn to me? There are some of you that are watching. That is your current situation. There are some of you that are watching. This is why God can't save your children. Because you keep on running. You run into the jailhouse. You run into the streets. You run it and you helping them out. Out of every situation. And God is single tonight. Get out of my business. You Indian giver. You give it to me and then you take it back. You give it to me. Then you want to fix it on your own. There are some of you people of God. God is saying you're doing the same thing with your bills. You're saying God. I got more debt than I got money. But then watch this. You turn around and you go out and get loans. You turn around and you go rubber go shot. Get paycheck advances. You turn around and start burning everything. You turn around and start borrowing. And God is saying you haven't even given me a chance to do it. Do you believe that I can do it? You Indian giver. Give it to me. And don't take it back. And God is saying. If you can give it to me on tonight fully. He's going to break the over and over spirit off of you. Somebody put this in the comment section. Lord, break the over and over spirit off of me. I'm tired of being denied every time I apply for something over and over and over. Who am I speaking to? I'm tired of every time I go to the doctor. It's bad news over and over and over. Who am I speaking for? I'm tired of every time I turn around in my family or the people I love, my friends. I'm going to another funeral over and over and over. I'm tired of every time I try to get sleep at night. The enemy is keeping me up over and over and over. Come on, people of God, we just went over into 12 a.m. Eastern time. This is the midnight oil you need. You say, God, break the over and over spirit off of me. I'm tired of always needing somewhere to stay. God, I just want my own. I'm tired of living from pillow to post. Over and over and over. I'm tired of having to ask people for rides. Over and over and over. God, I just need my own. I need my own car. You say it. God, I'm tired of applying for jobs. And they say my background is keeping me from it. Over and over and over and over. Who am I speaking to? God, I'm tired of 
Every time I give my best in this relationship, they keep hurting me over and over and over. I'm tired, God, of having my family betray me over and over and over. Can you just break this over and over spirit off of me? I'm tired of repeating the shame attacks. I'm tired of going through the shame test. Oh, God, I thank you. Over and over and over. He said, if you would just give it to me. God is saying, I can't bless you until you fully release it. And there are some of you that are watching. We're getting ready to wrap this thing up. But I got to release this. Uh, everybody stay on also. Because at the end of this live, uh, I want to talk about these prayer kits that I have. Uh, that are going to break the spirit. Uh, let me go shot here. Yeah. Of release, uh, uh, repeating things uh, over and over. Uh, we'll talk about that at the end of the live. So stay on, people of God. So uh, I can begin to give you the information about that. But there are some of you that are watching. And you're saying to me, Dr. Shakir McFadden, it's hard to turn it loose. You're saying it's hard to turn it loose because God ain't moving quick enough. It's hard to turn it loose because God ain't showing up quick enough. And God is saying on tonight to give the people of God 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. I need everybody to put that in the comment section. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Come on, very quickly. Come on, when I move, you move just like that. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. How you doing, Destiny? First Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says this. And God cares for you. So turn all your worries over to Him. I love that scripture because it's so simple and it gets right to the point. Tonight's message is, you Indian giver, give it back. Stop giving things to God and taking it back. He said to give you First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. And God cares for you. So turn all your worries over to him. Somebody drop in the comment section. I'm turning it over. Come on, I'm turning it over. I'm turning it over. I'm turning it over. He told me to give you this on tonight. Do you know, people of God, that some of you, you cannot sleep. Watch this. Because anxiety kicks in over you every night. Do you know that anxiety it's just a down payment on something that may never happen. What are you saying, Dr. Shakir McFadden? I'm stressing over something that has already worked out. Anxiety is just a down payment on something that may never happen. You ever been in a situation where you were so stressed out about this thing and it ended up working out and you're like, I'm stressed about all that for no reason. Man. Oh God, somebody drop in the comment section, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. Come on, come on, come on, drop it, drop it. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. God, I am giving it to you on tonight. Matthew chapter 28, people of God, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. Come on, who is this for? Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. And it says this. Are you tired? Are you worn out? Are you burned out? Come to me. Get away with me. And you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you anymore. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. I want to live freely and lightly. Somebody put that in the comment section. God, I want to live lightly. I read that out of the message Bible. That means I want to live with no stress, with, 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 with no cares. I want to be able to give it to God and mess me up. When he said, watch this, I won't lay anything on you heavy or ill-fitting to you. I'll keep company with you and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Somebody put on the comment section, tonight I give it to you. Tonight, God, I give it to you. 
Come on, everybody begin to put that in the comment section. Tonight, God, I give it to you. Tonight, God, I give it to you. Be specific. I ain't waiting till tomorrow night. I ain't going to wait till Sunday. Because, God, I, I, I got to figure this thing out. Because I'm at the very last minute of this thing. But do you not know that God is a last minute on time, God? Just when you think, he ain't going to come through, huh? He always shows up. Erica Rogers, thank you for the gifts on TikTok. Thank you for all the gifts that's been going on on TikTok tonight. God is saying I'm a last minute on time, God. Come on, I don't know who this is for on tonight. I want you to put in the comment section, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Come on, everybody begin to drop it. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. And if you are somebody, because not everybody reads the Bible, there are some people, you know, they just, they're not there yet. So I want you to screenshot, watch this, when people are dropping it in the comment section. Come on, come on, begin to drop it. Begin to drop it in the comment section on tonight. The enemy is defeated and the enemy is upset. And watch this. The enemy is upset, people of God, because the enemy knows. What's about to take place? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. The enemy knows what's about to take place. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. There's a blessing that's taking place. Because as I read this last scripture, watch this. Something is about to shift and something is about to change. I need somebody to put in the comment section the shift is about to take place. Come on in, people of God, and I need you to put that in the comment section. Come on, you believing that tonight. After you give it over to God, there's a shift that's about to take place. I'm getting ready to read this last scripture. And then I'm getting ready to give everybody complete instructions. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 says this. Do not worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let all your petitions of prayers and worries be unto God. Letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness. Everything will begin to come together and it will begin to work out for you. And then wonderful things will happen. I'm reading out of the Message Bible. Philippians, people of God, chapter 4, verse 6 says that. I don't know who needs this message on tonight. Uh, but God is about to show up. And God is about to show out. God is about to show up and God is about to show out. I need everybody to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. There are some of you, it's two things that I'm requesting that, that you begin to do. The first thing I'm getting ready to request that you begin to do is pray and ask God, should you sow a seed on tonight? I do not want you to sow this seed unless God is telling you to because I need your faith to line up with what I just prayed. I just prayed on tonight that tonight as you give it to God, Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 said that he is about to take all your concerns and work them out. So tonight people of God, we're sowing a God working out seed. The amount we're giving on tonight, the Philippians 4 6 and 7 seed, it's 20 four dollars and 67 cents the second thing i want you to do is not pay attention to the comments because the same people who was telling you uh, uh, uh who might say don't give it's the same people that was just saying amen and she's preaching i want you to begin to pray and then i want you to begin to sow cash out chime zell paypal and Vimo. it's the same phone number 754-246-0580 For some reason, people of God It's not letting me pin it to the bottom of the screen on Facebook So I'm going to hold the phone number up Come on, begin to sow See, that's I've never had that happen before So if you, somebody on Facebook, you really need to sow 
And the reason being is because the enemy is trying to come against your seed. It's never not let me. Somebody drop the phone number. Matter of fact, drop the phone number on Facebook for me in the comment section. I'm going to put it there and then I need somebody else to drop it. It won't even let me pin it. 754-246-0580. That's for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. Everybody on TikTok, you don't got a reason not to give. The information is in a sticker to the top of the screen. Come on, I'm going to hold this up for everybody on Facebook. Come on, I want you to begin to give. Everybody on TikTok, the ways to give is to the top of the screen. 754-246-0580. You're showing me a cash app, Chime. Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. There are some of you that are going to sow $24.67. You're sowing it for you. You're sowing it for each one of your children. But there are some of you people of God. Come on, screenshot this. Screenshot this. It's backwards. Oh, God. Lord Jesus. 754 246 um, everybody who is close to me, who knows the number, who sold it to me regularly, I need you to pin it to the bottom of the screen. If you are sewing, come on, come on, the ways to give. There's some of you are going to sew $24.67 for you. And for somebody else, I'm telling y'all, tonight you really need to sew. The enemy is literally a trying to attack the seed and attack the live. I've never done a live where I couldn't pin the information to the bottom. Something is happening. Um, there are some of you that are watching. Um, um, no, the ways to give over on TikTok is to the top of the screen, baby. You can see it up there a little underscore later. Lady, there are some of you that are on tonight and you say, Dr. Shakira McFadden, I need to sow an all-around seed of $124.67. And the reason I need to sow this all-around seed of $124.67 is because of the simple fact, mighty God, that I got so many issues and so many problems. I need the Lord to do it in every area of my life and it's multiple areas. So I'm gonna just go ahead and step out on faith and sow the $124.67. There are some of you that are watching this live and you said, I've never sown a seed a day in my life, but I know this live was for me. So I'm going to pray about it and step out on faith. There are some of you, this is your first time tuning into my page. But you knew this message was for you. If you're sowing via Apple Pay, that's the only thing with a different number. If you're sowing via Apple Pay, the ways to give, it's a different number. 954-245-7379. I cannot pin it to the bottom of the screen. Come on, begin to sow. Come on, I'm going to need my snipers in the spirit to keep putting the information down for me. To, to copy and to paste it. Come on, come on, come on. Begin to sow. Begin to sow. Begin to sow. Come on, there's a bunch of people sowing on tonight. Ooh, I cannot believe they won't let me pin. Let me see if I can go live from my computer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy is defeated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy, the enemy is defeated. Come on, people of God, begin to show up. Father God, right now we pray for every seed on tonight. Stay on because I want to tell you guys about these prayer kits. Don't miss the way to give just because I cannot pin it to the bottom of the screen. On TikTok, the ways to give is to the top of the screen. If you sold, I need you to drop in the comment section. I sold. Come on, if you sold, I need you to drop in the comment section. I sold. Drop in the comment section. I sold. $24.67 if you're sewing for you. If you're sewing for you or if you're sewing for a loved one. Come on, $24.67. There are some of you that are going to sew for you. And you're going to sew for each one of your kids. There are some of you that are going to sew for you. 
and you're going to also sow for your finances. There are some of you that are going to sow a seed for your finances, and you're going to sow a seed for the court case. And then there are some of you that say, I got to sow the $124.67. Because of the simple fact, I need God to do it in every area of my life. Come on, begin to sow. The phone number is picked to the bottom of the screen. Well, it's not. Jesus Christ, I'm so used to saying that. It's, it's there, 754-246-0580. Listen, people of God, let us pray. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for every person who genuinely didn't have it to give on tonight. Father, I ask that you just begin to bless them, bless them beyond measures. Father, I pray for every person on tonight, Lord God, who gave some type of seed. I ask, Lord God, that you just begin to show up and show out and allow the seed to come back a thousandfold in the name of Jesus. I ask, Lord God, that you begin to move mightily in their lives. Tonight, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God, that you are doing big things. You are doing amazing things. Father, I thank you that as they turn it over to you, to God, tonight, God, that you're going to show up and show out like never before. God, I thank you that as you begin to rub, rub a side, release your angels to encamp over their situations, that after rub a side, after tonight, God, when they return it to you, that you will begin to make all things new, that you will answer and answer of prayers and God we love you and we trust you for it in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen come on and begin to comment amen come on and begin to comment amen come on begin to comment amen amen means so be it amen means you came in agreement with the prayer tonight there are some of you that are going to get sleep sweet sleep something you haven't had in forever Tonight, people of God, some of you by morning, you're going to get the call, mighty God, that you've been waiting on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The enemy is defeated. The enemy is defeated. There are some of you, watch this, you need to screenshot when you see me on Facebook. I'm getting ready to drop the information in the comment section again. Wait for it. Look for my name with the blue check. And then just screenshot the information so you can go back and sew or you can inbox me. People of God, before I get off, I want to tell you guys about these prayer um, these prayer kits. If you are somebody that got your kit, because so many people have been getting their kits. And I've been praying with them. Hold on, let me drop this one last time in the comment section. If you are somebody, people of God, um, and you got your prayer kits or your prayer kit is on the way, just drop that in the comment section. When I tell you I've been getting so many testimonies, I got to post a testimony tomorrow um, of a young man. Oh, my God. When I tell you God showed up and showed out in his business, God ended one contract, and he got an even bigger one. And, yeah, his story is just amazing. I'm going to post it tomorrow. I got to start posting some more testimonies. I get so many. These prayer kits, people of God, are $149. But it comes with so much. Let me give you a breakdown of what it comes with. If you are somebody who's been experiencing witchcraft, you need to get this prayer kit. If you are somebody uh, who you feel like, God, I've been praying for my marriage, for my relationship, you need this prayer kit. If you are sick in your body, you need this prayer kit. These prayer kits are $149, but it comes with so much. Let me explain. If you are purchasing a prayer kit on tonight, you sold the, um, the money the same way. But in the memo section, I need you to put your phone number. Because when I jump off live, I call you back. And I verify your address. The prayer kit comes with two-day priority mail shipping. You get your tracking and get your doorstep in two days. It also comes with your unapologetically victorious warfare prayer seed. And with this prayer city, there are some of you say, Evangelist Shakira, why didn't you do it um, so we can download it on iTunes? Sometimes you got to go back to the old days where they will build an altar in their own, my God. And they will begin to pray whether they use their closet, at the bathroom, or space in their living room. Some of y'all, y'all need to pay the $10 on Amazon and order you a CD player. But uh-uh, we're not doing it virtually. 
Because watch this. You got to get to the root of the thing. I'm talking about when the women would wail out to God. And they will not move like Rabbi Koshai. Oh Jesus, they would say, I'm not moving till you bless me. With this warfare prayer city, each track is a different prayer. Prayer for marriages. Prayer for witchcraft. Prayer for your children. Prayer for finances. Prayer for depression. It's different prayers. You also get your 30 day spiritual street medicine, 30 day faith builder devotional. Every day is a different affirmation and a different scripture for you to pray. It also comes with your big bottle of anointing oil. I tell people as soon as you get the oil, start anointing your house. Anoint your body, you're having lower back pain, knee pain, you're having migraines, anoint yourself. Anoint your children over the head before they go to school every day so they can retain the information if they're struggling at school. Some of you people have got, I drop it on my credit cards. I, I, I'm telling you, you got to have that type of faith. It also comes with your communion cup. It's a must that you repent before you even begin to pray. Some of y'all don't know what it is. It also comes with a phone call with me where I personally come in agreement with whatever you need prayer for. And then after that, I give you instructions on how to use the kit. It also, most importantly, come with your very own prayer shawl. Most ministers, people of God, use prayer shawls because they know about them. A lot of people don't. These prayer shawls, people of God, have been prayed over. There are some of you, watch this, you need to sleep with your prayer shawl over your head. You're having trouble sleeping. There are some of you, you need to wrap yourself in it. Somebody done put witchcraft on you. There are some of you, you need to wrap your bills in it. There are some of you, you need to... You know, ride around with it. Take it with you when you go to the doctor. You got to begin to build an altar in your house. I don't know who needs to hear this. There's some of you, you need to lay it across your significant other. I take that anointing oil sometimes. I drop it in my husband's shoes when he's not looking. I rub it on all the door handles in my house. The refrigerator door. My children's uh, uh, room doors. The back of their cell phones. I put it in different places. Because I want to make sure they get the oil on them daily. It's very important, people of God. There's some of you who say, Dr. Shakir McFadden, I was just getting ready to purchase my lace wig with them $149. And baby, you say, but I got to make this sacrifice. If you're purchasing the prayer kit, after you make the $149 payment, put your phone number in the memo section. I'm going to drop the information again over here. People of God on Facebook, the phone number if you're purchasing for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. If you need an invoice, if you're sewing via Cash App, put in the full phone number into Dr. Shakira M. Pop Up. There's a black picture of me. I'm in a black dress. Put in the full phone number. It's not Dr. Shakira M1, it's Dr. Shakira M. Um, if you're doing Zelle, it's going to be um, gum ministries is going to pop up. G-U-M for God use me. Too many ways to give for you to miss this assignment. Too many ways to give for you to uh, uh, miss a way to purchase your kit. If you need an invoice, you text the same phone number. The word invoice with your email and the amount you want me to request. If you're sowing the seed or if you want to purchase the prayer kit. Um, also, the only thing that is different is Apple Pay. Apple Pay is the only thing that's a different number. It's 9542457379. Listen, you guys, I love you guys. God bless you guys. I'm gonna end over on TikTok first. Good night, everyone. And then I'm gonna end over on Facebook. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Tonight, completely give it to God. Good night.